welcome back to the show our medical expert, Dr. Vincent Toledo. He is here now to talk about the downside to the summertime if you aren't careful. Good to have you back. Okay, good to be here. I think I messed up. I sunburned my kids yesterday. Oh, it happens. It yeah. happens. Well, listen, I did put the sunscreen on. It said waterproof, and then they were really red after coming out of the pool. Is that a sunburn? Yeah, it's probably sunburn. You know, the, the pools, just the water concentrates the sun. It reflects the sun. Uh, just keep applying that waterproof stuff. It's so really even though it says waterproof, you still have to... Yeah, it repels reapply. the water, but you've got to keep reapplying. What else can we do to help safeguard our kids? Because the kids are out there the most, they're running around, they're playing, you know, they're the most active. You me, I sit back on my lounge chair and I say no and stop that. You know, the most important thing, our biggest enemy is water. water. And we have to, we have to safeguard our children with the water. We have to designate a, uh, an adult watcher, someone who's going to watch the children in the pool. You can easily take turns. Everyone can enjoy the afternoon. Um, these new portable pools that we see are all yeah. very popular. They don't have fences. So at least get an inexpensive uh, solution. And that's getting um, an alarm. It floats on the water. When the water is, uh, surface is broken, it sounds an alarm. At least if you're away from the pool, you hear that alarm. So the biggest, when you said water, at first I'm thinking dehydration, which has got to be another big issue. Oh, that's a very big issue. Uh, overheating, uh, hypothermia is a big issue, especially among the children who play sports in the summertime. These children are out there, they're in the, the heat, and we all need to sweat to cool off. If you see a child's red face, they're not sweating the way they should. Get them out of that heat. Get them hydrated. Put them in the shade. That's very important. Always drink water or some of these drinks, uh, sports drinks with electrolytes. Are they just as good or um, stick to water? Sometimes electrolytes are good, but some of them contain way too much sugar, way too much mm. salt. Water so is a good. Level, so always just have water. Yeah, Keep water is water. a good substance. But you know, children aren't the only ones at risk. No, they aren't. A lot of adults, especially with drinking alcohol out there, tend to get very dehydrated. What about the elderly? Elderly shouldn't go into the heat. Elderly are on a lot of medications. Those medications don't allow the body to cool off the way it normally would. It suppresses the, the hypothalamus, which would help you to cool off. So they need to stay indoors. Uh, Keep that air conditioner going. Uh, if you need to open up the windows, put a fan in there. Very important. And a lot of people are afraid to open the windows sometimes because of the heat, and they unfortunately will can suffocate. And that's true. And we need to have the body cools off with confection, uh, the way the air goes across the body and cools off the, uh, uh, the blood. Uh, and if you open up a window, keep in mind, if you have children, open the top up. Mm -hmm. Don't open the bottom window. Children tend to go right over. Children's heads are larger than their rest That's of their body, good advice. the head goes forward, the body's going to follow. Even with the screen they can push through. In yes. the ER, what kind of injuries do you see in the summertime that you don't typically see in the winter? Oh, a lot of playground injuries. Mm -hmm. We see a lot of burns. Dad is using the lawnmower, dad leaves the lawnmower, kids go and touch, oh. touch, touch. Mm -hmm. those, those baffles, those, uh, um, those motors get very, very hot and mm -hmm. kids touch those uh, projectile injuries. Mm -hmm. um, mowing the lawn, not paying attention to where the kids are running around, and a rock gets uh, tossed, and the next thing you know, you've got a, you know, something like a bullet. What about protecting your eyes and your head while you're in the sun? Uh, is it a good idea for children, no matter what age, to wear sunglasses, protect protective eyewear? Yes, because you know the sun does burn the retina. Mm -hmm. After years and years, it will burn your retina. Or even like a lot of wind, you know, wind if you're out and about uh, hiking or doing whatever with your kids, wind. Absolutely. And if you're out hiking, by the way, use DEET. You want to keep those ticks off you. Oh. Oh, very important. Use that. A lot of commercial products available that you can use, and they're very safe. Yeah, I've been thinking all, all along here about, you know, pool safety, drowning, protect yourself. But again, ticks, you know, getting bit by animals, insect bites, especially in the Northeast. Uh, we had an unusually warm winter, so I imagine bug bites uh, could be on the rise, uh, bee stings, things like that. And that, you know, a lot of kids, uh, adults too, are allergic. Uh, allergic. To. You know, there's more deaths due to bee stings than there are uh, shark bites. You're kidding. No, this is very For serious. Bee stings. From bee stings, it's a, that's a very potent venom. When you consider only a small amount gets injected into you, it's very, very potent. So I want to go back to a little bit about, about uh, more pool safety. Uh, prevention, a pound of prevention is worth an inch of cure. Is that how they go? An Something ounce like of that. prevention is there. worth a pound of cure. That's it. That's Absolutely it. is. But uh, swim lessons, how young? 
is it okay to put your kids in the pool? I see some oh. people putting their infants in the pool. I'm thinking, is that a smart thing? My, chi my children were less than a year old when I put them in the pool. And there's a lot of organizations out there who offer these lessons. Mm -hmm. uh, very inexpensive. And it is a good thing. Mm -hmm. Teaches your children not only to learn to swim, but to respect that water. Another thing I think is important to point out, um, just because there's a lifeguard, I don't think parents should assume that it's okay for them to start reading a book because a lifeguard Absolutely. can only do so much. And sadly, you know, there have been kids drowning with lifeguards right there. Absolutely. Yeah. You must have that watcher. Somebody should be a watcher. Watch over those children. You know, another interesting thing is buckets. buckets. A lot of people leave buckets around yeah. with water in them. Mm -hmm. Not a good thing. There's a lot of drownings. You know, we only need drowning a few. in a bucket. Of drowning in a bucket. If children again. The head is big. Child puts the head down. Goes right into that bucket. And it can happen so quick. Matter of inches. Wow. Matter of inches yeah, of matter water. Of inches, matter so of inches. So empty the bucket out. Turn it over. Those little kiddie pools. When you're done with them, empty it out. Turn it over. It takes a few. Seconds. I don't think a lot of people really think about with the in-ground pools, there are, you have to have fences, but you're right. With these uh, kiddie pools and these new pop-up pools that you can blow up, anybody can get in. And, you know, not only could there be a tragedy, but you could legally held liable for that as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. And there's so many other things that uh, just a little common sense mm -hmm. will get us through and have a very healthy and safe summer for everybody. You know, the CDC keeps statistics on this. And from 2000 to 2006, there's 9.2 million visits per year to the ER for families and children due to summer injuries. So, you know, just keep in mind that a uh, little, like you said, an ounce of prevention worth that pound to cure. All right, doctor, thank you so much for I your thank advice. You. We look forward to seeing you back here again.